Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. And today I got a really good question that I thought to answer really quickly as our last video of 2021. Can we create different piano roll layouts slash templates, like a separate setup for drum editing since I use the diamond notes and custom note names, which are different when you're working with keys, of course. Cool, this is a great question and let's answer it. So the first thing I would say is that if you go to your preferences and you go to editing behavior and MIDI editor, you have this option here called one MIDI editor per. I have set this to project by default. I'm good with just having one. But if you have it per track, each of your tracks get their own MIDI editor. So for example, in this case, I have drums and a soft piano. So I can click on this item. And as you can see, I have custom note names here. I can maybe use this action, hide unused and unnamed note rows. And that will hide all the notes that are unnamed and unused. So I just get basically the sounds that I have and not all 88 of my keys. I can also switch to diamond mode here. And now if I double click on my piano item, my piano item still is how it was before. And again, if I make any modifications here, it won't reflect on this other item. So each item is kind of separate and your project will remember this. So if you come back to this project, close these windows and reopen them, you still get the same setup which is cool, but this is just for one project. So if you have a new project with new drums and new keys, you have to go and run all these actions again. So can we have templates? And the answer is kind of yes. And the way to do that is to basically make custom actions. So let's make one right now. I'm going to open my actions list. And if your MIDI editor window is focused, the section here will automatically be the MIDI editor. Otherwise just click here and choose the MIDI editor. And I'm going to go new action new custom action, and I'm gonna call this drum editing setup. So the first thing I want here is hide unused and unnamed note rows. Doing that will automatically make it so that this named notes mode is selected as well. So you don't need to do that extra step. And then I'm just gonna go diamonds, show events as diamonds, drum mode, and I'll put that in there. And I can even pimp this further if I want, like for example, with diamond modes, it's hard to work with velocity handles because they're so small. So I can maybe also say set CC lane to velocity. So our velocity lane also shows whenever we run this action. And I'm gonna consolidate the undo points and I'm gonna hit okay. Let's make one more as well. And same deal, new custom action. And I'm gonna call this keys editing mode. And in this case, I want to show all note rows and I want to go show events as rectangles, normal mode. And again, since we're in keys mode, probably one of the more useful CC lanes that we can load up here is for example, expression. So I can put that in here. This, this bit is optional, obviously. I'll consolidate this as well and I'll hit okay. I guess I called one of them setup and one of them mode, but whatever. So now I can come up here to my MIDI editor and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go customize toolbar, which opens this menu and reopens my action list. So maybe just at this very end, I can click on this action and I'm going to load this action in and I'm going to also load this action in. I'll just give them a nice icon. Maybe for the keys mode, we'll use this. For drums, I'm gonna right click and use this and I'll hit save and those actions popped up here as well. Now, if I make a new track, for example, and load my CC names on here as well, I can quickly just click this and I'll be in drums editing mode. This part will be hidden, but if we open it up, the velocity will be here and it'll all be zoomed in and all ready to go. And similarly, if I make a new MIDI track, I can just click on it. It's already doesn't have any name. So it's already in piano mode, but we're in diamonds view right now. So if I just hit this, I'll go back to rectangle mode. So you can still work with your one MIDI editor per type of setup where my drums look like this with velocity and my keys look like this with the expression. And these two are totally independent of each other. But also if you start a new project or you just create a new track and you want to quickly switch between the two modes. I can just click this. I'm in piano mode with rectangles. Hit this. I'm in diamond mode with notes names 
everything else hidden, and the velocity. So pretty cool and easy. I won't share these two custom actions, just make your own and customize it as well if you want to add some CC lanes. If there's anything else basically that you want to add to this setup, I'll leave that up to you. And also so that you get some practice making custom actions. But that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. I will not see you until January 5th when I'm back. Thanks for being with me this year, all of you. I really appreciate it. If you like what I do, you can support the channel by becoming a member on YouTube or by making one-time donations through buymeacoffee.com. All the relevant links will be in the description. A huge thanks to Gavin C for your wonderful donation. It's the largest donation I've received to date. Really appreciate it. Also, huge thanks to Oliver K, all of the other donors and supporters of the channel. I really appreciate you all. Have a happy new year and I'll see you next year. Bye.